Okay, so this is a sissy squat. Don't let that name make you think that it's an easy exercise because it's really, really not. So as we placed our feet in here, we need to make sure that we're locked in. So that's nice and tight because this is gonna be the only position that is securing you from falling over. So once we've done that, we're gonna allow our calf to sit against the back pad. Now, if we just watch as Ash goes into a squat position, she's gonna lean back, she's dropping her glutes down, and then instead of pushing her shoulders up to the top like that, which is rested, she's gonna keep the emphasis on the quad. So to do that, she's gonna go down, and she's gonna push her shoulders up there. Then back down again, and really push up through them heels, squeeze, 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 and down. And notice how she still leaned back over, which is putting extra stress onto them quads, because if she was to do it the wrong way, which we'll do next time, one more, and do it the wrong way, she's rested there, so there's no longer any resistance on her quads. So finally, we'll just do two or three reps, Ash. So get up, do it as you normally would, squeeze, one, that's it, properly our way, up, two, one more, Ash, up, 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 squeeze, that's it, well done. That's a sissy squat, it is a brutal exercise. And we like to use this as probably the last exercise in a leg workout, just to finish them, just to really, really get maximum blood flow to them quads, and it's a great finisher exercise. But I repeat, do not let the name sissy squat make you think that it's an easy exercise, because it's probably the complete opposite.